I am smelling Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost around here. I'm smelling. I perceive Holy Ghost around. I can see the power, the grace of God moving all over the places. If you are anointed already, begin to shout, begin to shout for Jesus. Begin to shout for Jesus. Begin to shout for Jesus. God, we serve. What a mighty God, we serve. Hallelujah. And no one on the edge, adore him. And just bow before him. What a mighty God. He's a great God. He's a mighty God. He's a glorious God. He has no challenger. He's the Almighty. The angels bow before him. The horse of angels submit before him. He's the Almighty. We're giving glory and praise now. Again now, what a mighty God we say, sir. What a mighty God we say, Hallelujah! Oh, heavens and earth adore you. serious now to understand that he's an almighty God the angels bow before him the head the host of heavens they all submit and bow before him the 24 elders on the throne of majesty they bow before him if you believe it can we say it one more time again what the mighty God we Exalt your majesty. Thou alone art the Lord. By the power of your mind, you stretch out the heavens as a curtain to dwell in. You found there the foundation of the earth and established it by your power. 
Yeah, you gather the waters together and place a bound against them. That they must not exceed their bounds. Your hand has founded all things, known and unknown. Things preserve the creation. They are still kept under your custody. You are the Lord. Jesus is the Lord. You reign forevermore. You reign forevermore. There is no one like unto you. You reign forevermore. You rule it and reign over the waters. You are the Almighty God. 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 No power can stand before your majesty. I give you glory. So you are the Lord. You are the Lord. You are the Lord. Shake up the rima. Amen. 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 Blessings and glory. We sing the songs of Zion. Righteousness. Your glory and your dominion has no bounds. Your name is hallowed among the nations of the hidden. You are the only God, the only true God, the only Savior, the only Redeemer, the God and the Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I said, Thou alone art worthy. Be the praise forevermore. Be the praise forevermore. Be the praise forevermore. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Sherry Masia. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lift up your hands in holiness and bless the Lord, bless the Lord. 
lift up your hands in holiness and bless his soul in a we bless you Lord now Thank you, Lord. There is power in Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. There is power in They have come to sanctify your name in this congregation. I have come, oh God, to publish your name in the midst of these youths that loved the Lord and sanctified these days in your presence to listen to you and to be and to be and to be commissioned unto a great work. I've come to publish your name in their midst and to ascribe greatness unto your majesty. Therefore, daddy, arise. Arise as your counsel comfort. Arise in the fullness of your power and begin to walk in the life of everyone. I said there must be miracles right now. There must be testimonies right now. There must be power moving in the midst of the people. There must be a flow of the power of the Holy Ghost. The people cannot be the same again. I said these youths cannot be the same again. I said these youths cannot be the same again. I can see glory coming upon them. I can see glory, I can see glory, I can see glory, I can see glory overwhelming, overflowing in their midst right now. Daddy, let your God, let it wet them. Let your glory overwhelm them. Let them be wet with the anointing and the power of the Holy Ghost. And let something new happen this moment. And let your name be glorified. Thank you, Daddy. Is there anyone sick? As this ministration is going on, I release the anointing of God like a guided missile. Let it hit that target and destroy that power of infirmity in the name of Jesus Christ. Is anyone bound by any oppression of the power of darkness, whether by inheritance, 
maternally or maternally the anointing of God is here right now and command that, that individual be that delivered in the name of Jesus I say as the word of God is going and somebody inherited any of them inherited any negative destiny that release the grace of God right now and the power of the Holy Ghost against that evil destiny and I knock it off out of their lives in the name of Jesus is there anyone lagging behind by virtue of some things that have befallen you. I am telling that by me now. As the word of God is coming right now. I come and receive quickening of the Holy Ghost. Receive quickening by power of the Holy Ghost. Is anyone bound with the chain of sin? By virtue of association or contacts. And be looking for how to get out of this nonsense. But this moment the grace of God is here now. As the word of God is going for right now. By the time you leave this camp. That yoke of sin is broken in the name of Jesus. I declare therefore. Therefore as they live here. This evening. Let the glory of God. Shamuko Pradesia. Let the power of the presence of God, let the majesty of God follow them in the name of Jesus Christ. And Jacob never knew that he was, he was having an escort. After his daughter, his sons, Simeon, yeah, and Levi, after they had fought, and then, you know, attacked and they kicked and then attacked some the, the, the inhabitants of the land after the defilement of Dinah. Their, their sister and then the, the Lord had to, arise, had to arise on their behalf and when Jacob arose and continued his journey there was this host of angels that appeared unto Jacob and Jacob said this is nothing but the host of God I am declaring as you are leaving this place the host of the angels of God will follow every one of you the host of the angels of God will follow every one of you in the name of Jesus. Therefore, Daddy, as I offer them your counsel, Daddy, I have come not to minister or express myself, no, but I've come to declare your counsel in all humility, so that in all things I have not come to express my glory, but the glory of him that sent me. In this, there's no unrighteousness with me. Therefore, glorify your name and let your people be healed. Let salvation come upon the people. Let the people be empowered for ministry. And they will go on to height upon height upon height. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Daddy, for answer prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Can somebody look at his friend? But if you have an enemy, don't shake your enemy. Do you have an enemy around? Okay, if everyone is your friend, two persons in front of you, three persons behind, of, behind you, tell the person you're welcome unto the hour of power. Welcome unto the hour of power. If you have done that, shout amen. You cannot sit down like a big man. Sit down just like a big man. All of you, you are great. Do you know that all of you, you are great? You are all great. I say you are great. Can you shout, I am great? You know that it's not easy for some youths of this world to gather and separate themselves for four days in this kind of environment. It is only youth that are separated for something great. Others who want to stay around junk, you know, junk catching and going all about doing some things that have no value. But you separated yourself onto the presence of God. I say something great is in your life. 
Something great is following you. You can never be the same again. Can you stamp your leg on the ground? Shut up, moving forward. Glory, glory. You are moving forward. Sit down. Do you know that there is a purpose we are here today? There's always a purpose for everything. And David came to the battlefront wearing Goliath and the host of the armies of the Philistines. They gathered against Israel. And the man made a boast. The uncircumcised Philistine made a boast. And he said, Let Israel choose a man, a hero amongst them. And if that hero can kill him, being Goliath, then the host and the whole nation of Philistines will become servants to Israel. But if they otherwise also, you know, um, if anybody therefore amongst them kill the Israelites, then Israel will become a servant. For days, nobody could challenge Goliath. And the man was moving around. And then a man that is anointed for a purpose. Can you say a man anointed for a purpose? Your voice didn't come clearly. Who is that man? David. He was anointed for a purpose. And then a Holy Ghost, by leading of the power of the Holy Ghost, his father sent him on errand to meet with his brothers. And when he got to the battlefield, he saw the nonsense. He saw the nonsense, the boasting, the boasting of this Philistine. And what did he say? What is this man saying? He was asking questions around. What is this man saying? How was this um, uncircumcised Philistine? How, how is he challenging the army of God? While David was asking questions, his senior brother came and asked him, Why are you here? I know you're boasting. I know you're stupid sensing. You always want to do something so that people will see you. I know, I know you. Why are you here? Come on, go back. Who did you leave those cattle and those sheep and ram in the field? Who do you live with? And then come to the battlefield. He want to see how the arm, how the battle is going on. You arrogant boy. You know what the young man David told his brother, his senior brother? Is there not a cause? Can we say, is there not a cause? He told his senior brother, is there not a cause? Even though David may not have known by ordinary sense. Why that word came out of him? He never knew that that day coming to that battlefield was the day he was, the power of God was going to be announced in the, in the battlefront. And that the God, the gods of the lands of Philistines will know that there is a God in Israel. He said, is there not a cause? What was the cause? The cause was that the head of Goliath would fall off his neck and that David would be announced and that the ministry of David would commence. I want to tell somebody, is there not a cause that you hear? Is there not a cause that you are in this program? I want to tell you there is a cause. Are you hearing me? There is a purpose for which you are here. You may not have known it, but it has started from this ministration. Is somebody hearing me? It has started now. Since these four days you started, and you are consummating it now, I say it has started in this conference. Are you hearing me? It has started where? In this conference. See, the four days you'll be here all the time. Every ministration is working towards preparing you for the cause. Everything there is a purpose. In the book of Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes, chapter 3. Now the word of God, verse 1. He said, for everything, for everything, there is a season. And what? A timing. 
ascribe to every purpose for everything on planet earth any life anyone in existence there is what a season appointed unto you to manifest to express yourself and a time lag given for it to be accomplished for everything there's a season and a time for every purpose none of you here is a biological accident oh my god you're not hearing me are you a biological accident the Lord spoke to Jeremiah before I formed you in your mother's womb I knew you and by the time you are shooting out of your mother's womb what happened I have separated you and I've called you to be a prophet in my office so by the time you came out there is a purpose and because God is furthering and preparing for that purpose, that is why you are here in this conference. Whether Satan likes it or not, God's purpose in your life must be accomplished. I say it must be accomplished. Come on, shout amen if you believe that. Now, When Jesus started his ministry, when he came on board, something definitely happened. He came, we look at the account, what happened there in John chapter 9. In John chapter 9, they brought unto him a man that was born blind right there from his mother's womb and they asked him a question who sinned who was responsible for this malady for this unfortunate situation this young man is suffering that he was born blind from his mother's womb is it that his father sinned or his mother sinned? What was the answer? And Jesus spoke unto them and said, Neither did his father, neither had his father nor his mother sinned, but that the power of God might be what? Made manifest. He needed to demonstrate power because he was called. And the father down, what did he say? Jesus said, Yea. He pointed it clear and told them there is always a time appointed for him to accomplish his ministry. He made it clear. He said, I'm going to do the work of the Father which has sent me, the purpose for which he came. He must do it right now. Why there is what? There. The night comes when no man can walk. There's always a season. Can you say there's always a season? And again, the night came up. And he said, in Luke chapter 12, he now came and said, Yeah, I have a baptism to be baptized with. How am I threatened? until it be accomplished what is that word baptism there is not narrow or the ritual you know baptism of religious baptism or water in the bath no it is technically and figuratively an assignment a purpose for which he was called he want to accomplish it and that purpose is what is called baptism your baptism must be accomplished what god has assigned in your life you will fulfill it he said, I am called for this purpose. Therefore, I have a baptism to be baptized with. For how am I threatened till it be accomplished? Now, because when Jesus now came, this, this commitment, this dedication to accomplish this purpose was in his heart. What, what did the Bible say? The word of God said that in Acts of the Apostles, chapter 10, verse 38. 
He said, how God, Peter, was ministering to the house of Cornelius. And he said, how God anointed Jesus Christ with Holy Ghost and power. How God anointed him. Because there is a purpose, he has an assignment, he had understanding where he was going to. Therefore, there must be an empowerment, an enablement. A divine enablement to push across every opposition in order to actualize the purpose. He said that, you know, how God therefore did what? Anointed him with what? Holy Ghost and power. Can somebody say Holy Ghost? Holy Ghost. Oh, you don't like Holy Ghost. That's why I didn't hear your voice. Can somebody shout Holy Ghost? God anointed Jesus Christ with what? Holy Ghost and power. And therefore, consequently, he went about doing good with that anointing. Healing them that are oppressed for the devil. For God was there walking with him. Now I want to tell you the cross of the matter why we're here and how the whole the dynamics of your grace and miracle, how it's going to tap and how your anointing is going to come. Now when Jesus received the empowerment, listen, the empowerment was necessary because he must not drive and operate according to the tide of this present life. If you must succeed, you must always cruise against the tide. Spiritual things don't, don't, don't agree. Are you hearing me? Spiritual things does not agree with what? Physical operations. Spiritual things come with different energy. Why physical things with the spirit of this world and powers of this present world, they have their own energy. But they, they flow in this way. When they flow in this way, anointing and power of the Holy Ghost flows in the other direction. Anyone that is flowing the same course with the power of this system, you cannot succeed. You must always flow in counter position. Anointing of the power of the Holy Ghost works in opposite direction. And therefore, for you to walk in opposite direction and prevail, you must carry power that supersedes the power that's going to, to fight against your own power. Any opposing power against your life, you must receive another power. I, I didn't say tomorrow. I said today, that power you're going to receive is going to overrun the opposing power and you prevail. Is somebody hearing me? That is why we're here. You are of no consequence if you flow according to the tide of this present life. You are of no consequence. Devil has no regard for you. Not in the, you are, you are all just one of them. But the moment you rise up in opposite direction with greater power and anointing, filled with the Holy Ghost. Is somebody ready this afternoon? Oh my God, the people are not ready. I see, see somebody ready this afternoon. Are you ready this afternoon? Jesus came with a counter power. Ooh. Is somebody hearing me? Hey! Are you hearing me? He came with a counter power. Let's open our Bible to Mark chapter 23. Sorry, Mark. Sorry, Mark chapter 1, verse 23. Mark chapter 1. Quickly. Now, let me take it from verse 21. And they went on to Capernaum, and straight away on the Sabbath day, he entered into the synagogue and taught them. And they were astonished at his doctrine. For he taught them as one that had what? Authority and not as the scribes. Because his, his word came walking in another direction from what they know normally. And he was speaking as one, the originator of his doctrine. But the scribes and the Pharisees, they make references to Moses, they make reference to Elijah, they make a reference to Eli Eli Isaiah, but Jesus was speaking as the originator of his doctrine. 
Oh my God. Can we say originator of the doctrine? He was speaking as one that has authority. That is, he was not making reference. He is the I am. He's the owner of the world. He know, look at what happened, you know, in, you know, in Isaiah chapter 61. After he had told them his assignment, anointing, I come upon him. You know, he anointed by the Holy Ghost to preach the gospel to the meek. Are you hearing me? And then gather the brokenhearted and comfort them. And to hear... And, and to deliver the captives and set the prisoners free and appoint unto them they that mourn in Zion to give them joy, you know, you know garment of praise for the, for the spirit of heaviness. After he has finished talking, he didn't say anything again. What did he do? He carried his chair. He said, the Holy Ghost of oh God is upon me. After he had quoted that passage, he sat down. And they began to look at him. And they waited for 10, 15 minutes. He was not saying anything. Now Jesus, because not to create orderliness, he had to rise up. He now told them, today this scripture is fulfilled in your presence. I'm the one. This scripture was making allusion and reference to. I am the owner of that passage. <laughs> Are you hearing me? So they, they, their mind went bad. Said, Are you crazy? On an occasion, he told them, before Abraham was, I am. And they asked him, you are not up to 50 years. And then you have seen Abraham. And they carried stone to stone. They didn't understand that he's the owner of the doctrine. Oh, glory to God. Come on, shout yes. So they ran mad with him. But whether they like it or not, they have to submit to the standard. He is the originator. And so at this point, they say he taught them as one that has what? Authority. Not as the scribes. But the matter didn't end there. There, while he was teaching, a madman. Let's read it down. Let's go down, verse 23. And there came in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, saying, Let us alone, what have we to do with thee? Thou Jesus of who? Nazareth. Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God. And Jesus quickly did what? Reboot him, said, Hold thy peace, and do what? Come out of him. Can you shout, come out of him? Some youths this day will carry anointing. By the time you leave this place, any nonsense devil that come up, you will say the same word, come on, come out of him. And they will obey you. I said they will obey you. If you believe that, let your amen catch your miracle now. So when he shouted, come on, come out of him. And when the unclean spirit had turned him down, he cried with a loud voice and came out of the man. Verse 27, that's where we are going to look at now. Verse 27, and they were all amazed. In so much that they were what? Questioned among themselves, saying, what a thing is this? What new, what? Doctrine is this? For which what? Authority? He commanded even the unclean spirits, and they obey. And what happened, verse 28? Immediately, can we sing, can we read it together? One, two, three, go. And immediately, his fame spread abroad throughout all the region round about Galilee. Oh, can you shout Jesus? The people never saw. They said, what a new thing is this? And what happened? Because they have not seen this time. Because what was raining that time was, what was raining those, those days was, the demon, when they catch you and bind you, no deliverance. None was anointed. But the world had never seen this time before. 
somebody knew, someone came new from a plane, a spiritual plane they don't understand. He came and began to decimate and bring under all the powers of darkness. So much he said, come on, get out of him. And the devil has no option than to go out. And the people say, and his fame went out all over. And people say, what happened? What fame? This person will tell this person. This other person will tell this person. Come and see what happened today in synagogue. He didn't come to synagogue today. Wow. One man called, they call his name Jesus. With Holy Ghost, he came with a kind of another authority they've not known before. Casting out devil, coming out. The thing. And before you know it, the whole of Galilee, his fame was spread abroad. Now listen, we are looking at that fame. We are looking at that noise. We look. We are looking at that kind of hey wind that blew in the town. The talk of the town was the man called Jesus. The talk of the town was the man called Jesus. He heard him. His oppression. What he did began to ripple. You know what's called rippling? Rippling means something that begins to circulate and create a wave. Are you hearing me? Have you seen somebody carrying a, a, a powerful stone, very big boulder? Okay? A big boulder. And when you carry the boulder, you now drop it in the center of the water. Water that was normal. Water that has sun, that, that, that has quietness. Enjoy quietness. All the atoms and anions and every, everything, every, every molecule, everything were in order or nothing. All of them, no, no, there was no dis there was perfect symmetry. By the moment you throw a boulder, a stone, boo! What happened? It would disorganize the quietness. What will happen? The wave will go this way. We have gone this way, we have gone this way, we have gone this way. And the whole thing began to, if you have gone to the sea, and you see a big boat pass through the waters, okay? You see a big boat pass through the waters. The moment it passes, it passes. Any small boat around near that boat will be in trouble. Because the wave, the rippling of the wave or the water can put that small boat in trouble. Because it will push it across. It's called rippling wave. This thing Jesus did was announced. The noise went all over the places. A man called Jesus with another spirit, with another authority. They said, we have not seen this type before. Oh my God. Somebody that is committed into this ministration now. I say you will leave this place. And as you leave this place, the power of God will begin to crave wave through you. I say the power of God begin to create wave through you. There is no time to waste. The moment you leave this camp, come on, somebody must hear me now. Can you say with me? The moment I leave this camp, I start action. Oh, you didn't hear me very well. Come on, say the moment I leave this camp, I will start action. In the Holy Ghost. There's no time. Jesus said, I don't have time. He said, I have a baptism to be baptized with. No time. No time to joke. No time to joke. I must do the work of him that sent me. Why? It is what? Day. The night cometh when no man can do what? Walk. You know that when you are youths, you begin to run around and think that everything, every day adds to your age. Every day draws you older than we were yesterday. You know that many years ago, we were like you. We were jumping around, we were worshipping and thanking God, doing great things for the Lord and all that, and all that. And we never, there was no idle moment till today. I never had any idle moment in the ministry till today. And no room for backsliding. No room for sin. Are you hearing me? It has been a head ahead because I have, an, I have a commission. I have a commission. And I must continue. Listen, time will work for no man. 
as you are gone now, begin hit the ground running in, mini, in the word of God. In what you got in this teaching, in these ministrations, you got throughout these four days. Go with them, run with them as you move. Holy Ghost will follow you. I met one brother who met me some day ago, and he told me, Brock Lems, because that was my name those days. He said, Brock Lems, he said, I said, he said, do you remember that day we went to a ministration somewhere, and somebody was having a, in a twisted hand? Because those days we were small, we were not fearing any sickness, any disease, any kind of sickness would be in trouble. Because we were confronting the whole thing. Full scale. At times we'll be praying for some, for some girls that are really bound in the whole, in the, you know, by demonic force. While we are praying for them, some, ring, some, you know, chains and, and, and um, what do you call rings, you know, finger, you know, that are, they, these things will disappear. I said physically, corroborate will disappear. And when we pray, pray, call again, the two will come, the two will come back, those things, the two will come back again. And we will spend time Without minding whether there's food. Without minding whether there's any leisure anywhere. We, as long as during the holidays, we're in school, we're normal, we're normal. Even in school, in campus, we are still doing that. And then, this thing was so, we see the, we saw the power of God walking clearly. And that brother come and came and claimed, do you, do you remember what happened? That day, that sister that had a, while we were praying, the power of God came and twisted the hand of the girl and became stretched. I did it you know, because there are so many things that happen when we are small. When we are used, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 running about doing the thing. And power of God, it is when you enter, you see the Holy Ghost. You don't see the Holy Ghost in your bedroom. You go to school and then you, you know, and then you come back to school, from school, and things are happening around you. You don't begin to demonstrate the authority. Something must ripple around you. Power of God must ripple around you. Some things must happen. Don't fear them. I said, don't fear those spirits. You have a higher authority. Can I hear sir? I have a higher authority. <laughs> oh, let's tell my church, my congregation. There was one day a lady came, came with problems. What is your problem? He said, Gina brother went into relation, you know. He had a relationship, a relationship with a lady, and then they were eating the guest's money. And while the lady's money was gone down, and then the, the boy was no more interested, and the lady said, you must give me back my money. You must. And while they were quarreling and quarreling and quarreling, you know, the lady said, I'm not ready to take any sheets from you. You must give me back. The boy said, I don't have money. We'll, both of us enjoyed your money together. You know what happened? The lady went to Arisokija and reported the boy and the priest invited the boy. The priest invited the boy to come and let them say, ah, hear the case, hear the case. But when the information came to the sister, they said, how, how am I going to lose my brother? Incidentally, the boy happened to be his only brother he has, she has. And then he came. And I, I, and I, can you put me on, on through to the lady whom she, that's your brother, had a relation, uh, they put me through onto the lady. When I called the lady, I told her, please, lady, can you come around? I, am my name, I told her my name, and they, can you come forward and uh, please let us uh, discuss this matter and find a way to, to solve this problem. The lady said, this is too late, I cannot come around you. I said, I'm available, my church is there, and the place I did, very obvious, my office is there. Just come. He said, I don't have time. We have, the, the case has gone far. It's in, a, in the hand of the high priest in Okija. And therefore, let the boy come and answer. Hi. And I told her, please, since you refused my, I told her, can we pay the money in, in installment? We can really see how we can arrange to, for installmental payment. We can finish the payment. The lady said, Lila, you must give me the money in bulk. And I told her, please, since I've made my offers, I've given my negotiations, you refuse. Now go and tell the high priest at Oli Okija. You, I'm calling you, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on call with you now. That number is, that's appearing is my name. My name is Pastor Clems. Take this, my number, give that to Okija. 
Tell them, I said that this boy, I have tried to negotiate with you, but he refused. This boy will not honor that invitation. <laughs> take, take my name, give it to the high priest. He says, is it what I said? I said, yes. I have finished it. I have not have time to talk with you again. I seal it, copy my number, give to my Tell that so and so man in Lagos. Say he is not, this boy is not coming. I, I switched off the phone. Beloved brethren, the lady said, okay, we'll see. The last word, she will, we'll see. And she went. And I was waiting for the Auris Okija, the spirits, to come and, uh, come and send me a message. One, two, three. Up to today, how about so? They ran. I want to tell you, nothing can intimidate you. Are you hearing me? No power can intimidate you. No power can intimidate you. We have a higher authority. Can we say I have a higher authority? Can we shout to see the anointing come upon your head right now? Shout with the guy. I have many testimonies to tell you about my journey in this ministry. So when I'm talking, when you see me jumping and dancing, I'm not trying to entertain anybody. I'm excited by what Jesus has been doing. I am not, I didn't come to pastoral work because my, my belly was, I was hungry. And I was, I don't have professional. No, I was professional. I have a professional person. I have my, I have my, my things before I, 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 you know, even before I gave my life to Jesus, I was working. Even as a student, I have was had a car with the company, government of the department I was working with. I graduated and I continued working in good places. But the Lord said, You cannot continue to work and doing this thing. I said, How am I going to do? He said, Well, continue, come and do my work. I will, I will show you. You will not beg bread. Today, am I looking like somebody that is begging bread? <laughs> oh, I say, You are going forward. You are going somewhere. You are going somewhere. You are going somewhere. Follow me. I am here today for a recruitment exercise. Who is ready to follow me? I want to employ you. I want to employ somebody. I want to employ somebody. Are you ready for this exercise? I have come to recruit you onto ministry. I've come to recruit you onto service. Come and carry anointing and follow me today. This thing we are doing is sweet, oh. <laughs> come on, somebody laugh in the Holy Ghost. I come and laugh in the Holy Ghost. Laugh in the Holy Ghost. I said this thing we are doing is what? Is sweet. I got my power in the name of Jesus. I got my power. In the name of the Lord, though Satan rages, I cannot be defeated. I got my power. In the name of the Lord, oh. Jesus created waves. Let us see another wave Jesus created. He began to ripple around him. And he was, he was sitting together. This person will tell the other person. This person, before you know it, the whole of Judea and Galilee was filled with what is happening. Today, the Lord will create a miracle. Only one singular miracle that will announce you. Is somebody hearing me? Only one power, one grace that will follow you. One grace that will follow you. One grace that will follow you. And things will begin to change. Oh. One sister came to the healing service. And when we were there ministering, the sister said, you know, she had an appointment with one doctor. And when she had an appointment with the doctor, with the doctor and she had a very terrible 
sickness and that sickness that is something you can never be treated you cannot play with it doctor said you know a timeline is given to her if she doesn't follow the sequences or else she will die and then the lady said pastor it's just, it's the Lord, you know, she spoke in her heart. Let me first of all attend the healing service before going to the doctor's, you know, appointment. And the lady came to the meeting. And while the meeting was going on, and the ministration was going on, the lady, what did happen? The lady, the lady was receiving calls, barrage of calls from the doctor. Was greeting barrage of the calls from the doctor. Please, I am waiting for you. I, I, I will leave my office now because she has a personal relationship with the doctor. He said, I, I will leave my office now. The moment I'm going to have another appointment, if I leave you, that's the end of your matter. The lady didn't answer her. She called and called and called. Then the center of the ministration, the power of God, like a guided miser, hits the affliction. Power! And the sister was delivered and healed. Then, after the meeting, the sister looked at herself. She could not see the whole thing. Look at her. She said, she said, and then, after the meeting, the doctor now called again. Where are you? He said, I have no need again. She told her, I have no need again because my case has been settled. <laughs> I want to tell you now, God will go to anoint you with raw anointing. Can somebody say raw anointing? Ooh, I said what? Raw anointing. You know what it's called raw anointing? Elijah's anointing was raw anointing. Ooh, yeah, ka, pa, 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 yeah. <laughs> raw anointing. He told Elisha, if you think you, you can take my power, if you want to, if you can, if you can really, you know, take the, enjoy a double portion of my power, then when you see me being taken up, you will see the thing falling upon you. But the man desired it. Elisha desired it. Anything you desire, you will receive it. Are you hearing me? Anything you desire, you do what? Glory to God. Anything you desire. What did I say? You will surely do what? Receive it. Definitely. There is no gain saying about it. Let's look at, you know, Another passage, Luke chapter 5, verse 17. And it came to pass, I'm reading verse 17. Are you there with me? Can we go? Can we go? Okay. And it came to pass on a certain day as he was teaching that there were Pharisees and doctors of law sitting which we have come out of every, you know, territory, town of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem. And what happened? And the power of God was present to do what? To heal them. Now you look up. Quietly, no disturbance. Quietly, understand. Because something is happening as we are going ahead now. You know, Jesus was into this meeting. It was a very powerful, serious meeting. And the meeting was announced after, so, I mean, the media announced it. And the noise went over the whole town of Galilee and Jerusalem and Judea, all over, that there's going to be a special ministration from this great man that has the authority. His name is Jesus. And so they gathered so much that the, the Pharisees and doctors of the law, all of them came together to listen to Jesus. And what, come on, somebody must tell me, what did this law, this Galilee, these Pharisees and doctors of the law, what did they come to do? Do you think they came to listen to the message? It's a lie. They came to find faults. They came to do what? They came to find what? Fault and see where they can capture him and then make allegation and then arrest him. But they didn't know that there was that meeting was going to bypass every protocol. When anointing of God is upon you, anybody that's setting trap upon you will die. Is somebody hearing me? When anointing of God is upon you, when anybody that wants to capture you anywhere, you will jump and do what? Pass. So when the doctors came, 
all of that, can somebody borrow me with, uh, oh, brother, sorry for that. I, I don't mean to embarrass you, sir. Can I take your microphone, so, 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 so glass, one second. Don't fall there. Eh? Are you see? Don't, doctor, can you see me? That was how they were looking at Jesus. They were looking at Jesus. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He said this, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they were, they, they were jotting in their papers. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. <laughs> Praise God. Jesus knew what was happening. They didn't know so there are some boys that are so radical in faith. These boys didn't mind the landlord that owned the building. They went upstairs, broke the ceiling, and brought a, a man that was with that hand, you know, you, and then somebody that had a terrible palsy on him, and they dropped the man directly where Jesus was. There was no more time for argument. What was now time for what? Power. Hey, 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 hey. They thought that that meeting was going to be a meeting of argument. You quoted Moses, you quoted Isaiah, and you look at what you are saying. And all that, there was no time. When your anointing was upon your head, anyone that wants to come with argument, power of God will disgrace that person. Why? They were still waiting. Those guys dropped that person. And Jesus looked at the man. What is the problem? You look at the man's skin. Okay, John to man, sorry. I'm going to follow shortcuts. I don't want to go long cut. God, the shortcut is what I'm going to follow. Man, your sins are what? Forgiving you. That is the shortest cut to healing. That is the shortest cut to success in life. That is the shortest cut to deliverance. That is the shortest cut for success in life. No sin. God will punish that sin that wants to take hold of you. In the name of Jesus. When sin is removed, miracle becomes easier. He told the man, your sins are forgiving thee. And the people began to, those doctors, mm -hmm. they don't want, they don't want, they don't want to use his glass and look at this colleague. They don't want to look at them. Who is he that has power to forgive sin? If not God. What is this stupid young boy saying? That this man is since be forgiving him. And Jesus immediately knew what they were talking about. He said, Yes, which one is easier to say? Your sins be forgiving you or rise up and walk. You people judging, which one is easier to say? The one that is easier to say what? Rise up and walk. He needed to go this other one for them to know that sin is a blockage. Sin is a hindrance. Sin can stop on your way, I can stop your blessing, can stop your destiny. Don't follow any youth any, anywhere to do. Let sin have no place in your life. When sin is taken away, you love righteousness, you will see grace overflowing. Are you hearing me? Then what happened? And then he told them, I knew the short course. The short course is rise up and walk. But I needed to go the long course so that you will know that the Son of Man has power. To forgive sin. When he has finished it, what happened? Let's read it down. Come on. Praise God. Hallelujah. Verse 18. And behold. Sorry. Verse what? The man brought in the bed a man which was taken with palsy. And they sought, you know, means to bring him in and to lay him before him. And when they could not find by what means way they might bring him in because of his multitude, they went upon the housetop and let him down through the styling with his coach into the mist before Jesus. Verse 20. And when he saw their faith, he said unto them, Man, thy sins are what? And, his, and the scribes and the Pharisees began to reason, saying, Who is this which speaketh blasphemies? Who can forgive sin but God alone? 
verse 22. And when Jesus perceived their thought, and he answered and said unto them, What reason you in your heart? Which one is easier to say? Thy sins be forgiven thee, or to rise up and do what? Walk. But that thou mayest know that the Son of God has a purpose on planet earth, that has authority, he has power upon the earth to do what? To forgive sin. He said unto the, unto the, un, you know, unto the sick of the palsy, I say unto thee, arise, take up thy bed, take up thy goat unto thee, into the house. And it, can we read verse 25 together? One, two, three, go. And immediately he rose up before them and took up that whereon he lay on that parted to his own house. Glorifying God. Verse 26. And they were all amazed. And they glorified God. And were filled with fear. Saying. We have seen strange things today. I want to tell you. Oh, they said we have seen strange things today. I say something will happen as you go ahead from this place. People will see strange things happening in your ministry. The word you speak as you minister the word of God, as you preach the word of God, any other person can speak any common word. The moment you shout hallelujah, only hallelujah, anointing will follow your hallelujah. Oh, oh, are you hearing me? Anointing will follow hallelujah. The people that are sick, any affliction, any people that is bound with sin, the yoke will be broken. Because your word had the Holy Ghost back up. You know, some people say, in Jesus' name. And that person, in Jesus' name. <laughs> Before you know it, the other person that says, you see grace follow you. Because there is anointing, there is Holy Ghost back up. Can you say, here yeah, somebody say, every word I speak, after this meeting, this weekend, I say, leave this place and go to my abode. Any word I speak shall carry Holy Ghost back up. Beloved, I want to warn you. You must be hit the ground, start running. Don't wait. Don't begin to do some religious activity. You can be an usher. You can be a pastor, but there's no grace. Our, our, our daddy ministered the other time, and he said, he said that the hard thing for somebody to preach dry, ministering dry. Ministering dry means... <laughs> you're trying, you're, you're trying and then trying to minister, but there's nothing, no flow, no utterance. If you see a man that has utterance and the supply of the Holy Ghost, you can see mysteries and grace following him. He don't struggle, struggle because he has utterance. I tell you, as you leave this place, great grace will come upon you. Great grace will come upon you. And my God will give you utterance and you move with power in the name of Jesus. And the people say, we have not seen something before us. We have seen new things. Wave, ripple. Things began to ripple. What happened? They carried the news all over the whole town. That was where the Pharisees and the Sadducees that came to look for fault. And their, their plan ceased. Everyone that wanted to find fault and to stop him. The power of God closed their mission. The power of God will close their mission. You need power. I say you need power. You have to stop your enemy with power. Are you hearing me? You have to stop your enemy with what? Power. What I'm saying is serious. It's serious matter. I was ministering in a crusade somewhere, precisely in Mukoko. 
some years ago. And while I was ministering, a pastor was around me, you know, that was around me, you know, and then was helping out in the work. And some, some of these girls, they were, they were falling and falling with anointing. And then, you know, falling and the thing was crazy among them. They were falling and crying. And the brother went and didn't even know that one of those girls are badly anointed with demonic force. And the brother now came and held, and held the lady while he was falling. And held her and was praying for her. Before you know it, the lady appeared in The lady hit her with a spiritual misery. And the brother shouted. He's a pastor. I won't call his name. He was shouted and cried. We carried him from the pulpit to the pastor's room in Amukoko. And after the meeting, after I finished ministry, I had to run up quickly and come to the office. I saw this boy, this brother with tears. He was crying. The people bound his leg. And the thing was terrible. So I put you, as I was laying hand on that lady, and it didn't hit me. Then I just laid a hand upon him. I said, thank you, Jesus. You power, you have no business over the life of this servant of God. You getting out from this moment. Come on, get out. And then the, 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 the demon was rebooked. And the brother, I said, stretch out your leg. He stretched out his leg. And he did like this. Did like, before we go to that meeting, he was running. Listen, what brought me to this testimony? What brought me to this testimony is that if you are ministering without grace, there are some demons, people that are super anointed with demon, demonic powers. They will try you and see what is inside of you. Today, don't live here until you are anointed. Come on, you're not hearing me. Tell your neighbor today, don't live here until you carry your own anointing. Tell me again, today, don't live here until you carry your Holy Ghost. <laughs> Beloved, this is a serious matter. <laughs> this is a serious matter. One thing I'll show you, don't be afraid. You will be, you'll enjoy good health. <laughs> Are you hearing me? Because what we are doing, it doesn't give room for sickness and diseases. My father suffered diabetes, so he will suffer diabetes. My father had high blood pressure, and my mother, maternal home, for you, no carryover. Come on, tell your neighbor, no carryover. No carryover. Because what you are doing is carrying grace. He said the spirit of him that raised Jesus from the dead dwelleth in you. The spirit of him that dwelleth in you shall do what? Quicken your mortal body. It will quicken means bring life. Bring life into what? Your mortal body. And then sin. No room for sin. Ooh. How can I be busy with the Lord and be talking about sin? And amen, amen. They know they happen. You know they happen. Are you hearing me? I say, can I tell you, never, you know they happen. Yeah. Nehemiah was busy building the house of the Lord. And they told him that Sambalat and Toba, they invited him. I don't know. Let's meet somewhere. He said, how can I? I'm so busy. How can I leave the work I'm doing and go and meet Sambalat somewhere? It doesn't happen. I'm too busy. Tell you, never, I'm too busy for jokes. So when you are busy in the house of God, there's no room. Some people say, Pastor Clint, why not, why not talk about sin? I don't know what I don't know about. I don't know how to talk about it. I don't know how to talk about, I don't know how to talk about adultery. I don't know how to talk about fornication because it's not my business. I don't know about it. When I'm ministering, when I'm busy in the house of God, any sister that comes, you see when you see, it is when you see the face of a woman, you ask her, Give, can I carry your baby for you? I'm so busy doing the work of the Lord. I don't need to, hey, he touched me, I touch you. I don't need to touch me, I touch you because I'm too anointed for that. Are you hearing me? 
The servant of God, our GS was speaking the other day. He said, I will like Camille, I love him. And that's why I follow him. I know that thing. I follow him because he's a man that loves righteousness. His ministry is pure. His foundation is sure. He said, I am above adultery. How many GSs can say they are above adultery? Many of them have sampled all the choir members in their churches. Messed up all the people. But Jesus said what? I'm above that thought. Look, I'm too busy. I'll follow such a man like that. That's the only person I follow. Otherwise, I, if it, it, it seems I'm, I, my focus is him in this ministry. Otherwise, I won't be here. He has given me challenge and I love him. And therefore, we must follow him. Can we say I must follow him? Therefore, if you are busy with the Lord, you don't have time. Because grace and anointing busy, keep you so busy. And every day you study the word of God. You commit yourself into the word of God and studying and studying. And after you studying and praying and ministering, you can see that your body member that want to rise up will die. Can somebody say, Pastor, I hear you. And so when Jesus had finished his rippling, his rippling exercise and the wave he created on planet Earth, when he wanted to go back, when he wanted to go back, what did he do? He called Peter and the apostles. He told them, you received the baptism of John the Baptist. And what do you receive them? The baptism of water. But now, I am going to, after he, now, you are going to receive what? Baptism by what? Holy Ghost. There are two baptisms. Every time people struggle with water baptism, they don't know that this is just a mere ritual. The real thing is what Jesus told them. You are going to be baptized with Holy Ghost. Hearing after. Glory to God. And when Peter and his colleagues got baptized in the Holy Ghost, I saw the apostle chapter 3. What happened? And the word of God said, Peter came to the beautiful gate. Him and John, his friend, when they came to the beautiful gate, they were walking and then strolling to the beautiful gate. Listen, when you are, when you are anointed, you don't need special anointing. You don't, you don't need special fasting before a miracle will happen. Oh my God, somebody's not hearing me very well. Are you hearing me? You don't need special fasting. <laughs> ah, let me do separation before I handle that matter. There is nothing like that. They were marching and scrolling. We are Makakuri Akama and Mikakorosia Lika Pradesia. They were just marking. Yeah, Makuria. And they came to the beautiful gate. And then the young man looked at them and said, Oga, oh Babiala, give me. Give me, you know, you get one naira there, just small. You have a, you have a one naira a cent there. Whatever thing you have, can you give me small there? Peter stood up, stood down, and looked at the man. And he was surprised that this man was asking for money from them. Well, instead of him asking for something higher, because they are coming from, you know, they are carrying grace and they are overloaded. And what they are carrying is not the thing that the world has. And the thing they are having is mightier than the world. But the world is running after money. But, they have, but Peter and James, they are carrying something greater than money, something that manufactures money. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? And he was surprised. He said, he called the man, Kel, yeah, man, listen, that thing you're asking for, silver and gold, we have known. But I want to give you what you don't know that we're having, greater than what you're asking for. And that thing is what? Jesus! <laughs> now I give you Jesus. And when Jesus drops inside of you, you will cease begging. When Jesus comes inside of you, something will happen. Now, are you ready to receive? He said, now, in the name of this Jesus. <laughs> Can
Can somebody jump dance in the Holy Ghost? Uh, dance. If you want to sit down, sit down. If you want to stand up, stand up. Dance in the Holy Ghost. Yeah, yeah, we are close. You may cool your can pray bull your loose here. Hey, you can bro loose your like a moko case. Are you hearing me? He now said, I speak unto you in the name of Jesus. By faith in that name, Jesus, an anointing that came upon us. I command you, rise up. Listen, when this drama was going on, none of the people, the, none of the congregants in the synagogue knew what was happening. It was only Peter and James, sorry, Peter and John, that were there, that were there doing the whole thing. And when the young man stood, they helped him, and he, and he stood up. The man staggered a little, and staggered a little, and then strength came upon his ankle, came upon his hip, and, step, and came upon his point. And then he, he said, mm hmm And came to the synagogue. Listen to me. This anointing that is showing you right now in this ministration, I want you to address. I want to address to somebody. You can't be in a beautiful place and still be crippled. You can't remain in a beautiful place, beautiful gates, and still things are not working for you. You cannot inherit rubbish from your parents. Is somebody hearing me? You cannot inherit rubbish from your parents. Oh my God. Are you hearing me? God, I'm coming back to that passage. But in chapter 9 of John, you remember? And they asked Jesus, this man that was born blind, who sinned? Is he his father or his what? His mother? Who sinned? What did Jesus say? Neither his father nor his mother, but that the power of God be made what? Manifest. Now I tell you now, all these people that are carrying this these are emergency pastors. People go, before you tell them problem, you mention your problem two times. They say, hey, yeah, thank you, Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your grandmother killed somebody, a woman that was pregnant in you, and they buried her alive. And the woman, when she was dying, said, like, like, nobody will survive in this family. And they come with one promulg promulgate, one, one, one spiritual law. I was praying with one medical doctor. And then she, the lady was having issues. And she wanted to travel abroad. And things are not working right with her. And then she told me, she went to somewhere. And so told, somebody told him that, told her that there are four kingdoms. Are you hearing me? There are four kingdoms that are fighting against her. Until those kingdoms are brought down, she cannot succeed. And I, when she came to me and told me, I laughed. I said, those kingdoms, now yeah, yeah, kingdom. Come and shout, yeah, yeah, kingdom. What happened? I rebuked that, that, I disabused that impression. If you believe wrongly, you will live wrongly. Are you hearing me? If you believe wrongly, you will live what? Wrongly. Your belief has strong effect on your destiny. Jesus told them, neither this father of this poor, nor his mother, is that the power of God may be made manifest. I am telling somebody, any ghost lawyer you are suffering from your parents, as you are hearing me now, all protocols overlooked. I command those power broken in the name of Jesus. This morning, this night, as you are living here, you are fully delivered. You are fully delivered. You are fully delivered. In the name of Jesus. A man came unto me and I told the doctor, come on, believe it. The moment I told her I prayed for her, the next three weeks later, four, one month plus later, 
What she was looking for, bah, the Lord opened her door. And she called me, Pastor Clem. I said, what did they happen? I said, I asked, where are those four kingdoms now? Where are the four kingdoms now? Now God has opened her door. She's now ready to travel abroad. Any hindrance on your way, today they are broken in the name of Jesus. Nobody must bring any yeah, yeah, doctrine. I was praying, uh, uh, another man came to me last week, two weeks, and he said, I am a man, very young, handsome man, and then, but he, that he's working with standard organization of Nigeria, no, son, and then had a lot of challenges, and they were going to pray us. What did they tell him? That it is something from uh, evil foundation. I said, come on, make sure you know evil foundation. Which foundation be that foundation? God punish that foundation. Come on, shut, God punish that foundation. There is no other foundation that is recognized by the foundation in Christ Jesus. If you give your life to Jesus and submit unto him and begin to walk in the Holy Ghost, the power of God will tear off every challenge. I want to pray with you now before I go. But before I pray with you, you know what happened? And the people gathered together and they came against uh, upon Peter, the high priest and members of the priest, priestly families. All of them gathered together against Peter and said, Come on, you are preaching this man that we killed. And the man is dead. And you are saying the man is alive again. And now by him, you are doing this miracle. You are, we want to stop you. Come on, stop. The man said, how can, Peter said, how can it happen? But before they came to him, they spoke to him among themselves. This man, he had done notable miracle amongst us. And nobody can hide it. Already the person we are seeing is walking and coming. Before he was used to be with beautiful, beautiful gates begging. But today, he's, he's out of the beautiful gate begging. He's now what? Blessed and moving up. And they are seeing him. I said, now a notable miracle. And now, the people could not talk much. What did they do? They now, after everything, they summed their face. They said, they want them not to preach. He said, how can we obey man than God? We cannot but preach and minister what we have heard and what we have seen. Today, you are going now. I want to pray for somebody. There's going to be rippling anointing. Can we say rippling anointing? There's going to be a wave of power that will flow you. Any miracle you do, another person will carry it. The thing will be going over and over and over. It will ripple all over the places. Can you shout yes? In first, you know, in, in, in Corinthians, I mean, it's Acts of the Apostles chapter 17. And the people, Paul, Paul, Apostle Paul went to, you know, the church in Thessalonica. And when the synagogue there and was ministering. And the people, you know, gathered together and then incited the people to attack them. Because the miracle that was done in, time, you know, you know, in, you know, Pamphylia, you know, and other places, you know, they have heard about it and the things that will happen. The nation, wow, these same people that have turned the world upside down in these other regions, behold, they have come to this place. Oh my God. <laughs> these same people that have turned the world upside down, they have come back. Listen. You are going to turn the world upside down more and more. Because you are not going to swim along the tide of this world system. You are going to carry anointing that will decimate the tide and you move forward in an opposite direction. Can you shout him? Stand on your feet right now. Give Jesus praise. 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 Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate him. Celebrate him. Celebrate Jesus. He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. He is the exalted King. He reigneth forever. All powers in heaven and on earth, beneath the earth, all of them are subject unto his authority. At the mention of his name, every knee must submit and bow. Every tongue must confess that Jesus is the Lord. To the glory of Father, he has no rival. He has no rival. He is in charge. He is in charge. 
He's in charge. He's in charge. He's in charge. He's in charge. Adonai, we worship you, Son of God. You are so good. You are so good, Almighty God. Check him, Akalia. Our Lord be your name. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Your dominion is forever, oh, forevermore. Adonai. We worship you. We worship you, Son of God, Son, Son of God. God. You are so good. You, you are, are so good, Almighty God. Almighty God. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Your dominion. Your dominion. Is forevermore. Is forevermore. Say it one more time. Forevermore. Adonai. We worship you. We worship you, Lord. Son of God. Worship you, my Lord. You are so good. You are so good. As we are worshiping the Lord right now, Makikolia, your heart is being watered. Your heart is being watered now for grace to come in. Are you here with me? So lift up your heart, present your members before the Lord. If you think you are baptized in the Holy Ghost, you must carry power. Some people say that they can speak in tongues. No, no, no. Tongue without power is not a tongue. A small witch that got anointed yesterday, if he cough and look at you, you carry fever. No. And I say no. You must carry power. Therefore, forget your initial anointing. Forget your tongue. Carry power. When power comes, you begin to reign. There is no holy as the Lord. There is no beside oh, yeah. Lift up your hand and worship him. In.
Lift up your hand. Lift up your hand. Lift up your hand. Pray with me right now. Lord Jesus. I receive this commission. To launch out all the days of my life to serve you, to publish the name of the Lord Jesus, and to ascribe greatness unto His Majesty. Anywhere I go, Jesus, Jesus, anywhere I am, Jesus, Jesus. Therefore, Holy Ghost, I receive power. I receive power. I receive power. 
No! Listen to me. The reason why you must receive power is that Jesus himself received power. He didn't empty-handed go to work. He said how he was anointed with Holy Ghost and power. When he was to leave, he now told the apostles, after now, after now, you are going to receive another type of baptism. Not the type of baptism of John the Baptist, baptism of water. You are going to be baptized with Holy Ghost. Now, it is your right to get it now before I go. Are you ready now? Listen, when I'm ministering Holy Ghost, I don't waste time. It's a smart action. It's a smart action. Smart action. Many people carry power now. You carry power now. You carry power now. Stay, can you shout, Lord Jesus? I receive power by the Holy Ghost inside my inner man. I go out of this conference with power. Now lift up your hand up now. You are going to receive it now. No time wasting, no time wasting. No time wasting. No time wasting. No time wasting. Now, as you receive power now, power of God will carry you off. Power of God will carry some people off now. And then what you now see, you begin to burst into tongues. Tongues you have not spoken before. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I want to catch the first 20. The first 20, then the next, next 50. For the next 50, the next 100. And before the whole people. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Do your work now. Do your work now. By the anointing and authority. Do your work now. Do your work now. Do your work now. As I count seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yes, seven, carry Oh, yeah, carry, 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 carry power. Oh, yeah, carry power. I see them, I see them, I see them. Oh, sir, I see them, I see them. I see them, 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 I see them. Oh, yeah, power, fire, fire, ten people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, yeah, carry power for ministry. Carry power. Oh, yeah, carry. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh yeah, it has started. It has started all over the places. All over the places. All over the places. All over the places. Yaka kaka 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 kaka. Eka reka prapo. Riaki sendelia. Raka poleswa. Rama sekwa karia. Rian soli kapra. Yema. Yeli kama. Yeli kama. Yeli kama. Yeli kama ra. Yeli kama re. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Power, 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 power. Carry, 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 carry. Oh, yeah, begin to speak in tongues. Oh, yeah, open your mouth, begin to pray. Yaka, kaka, 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 kaka. Yakulia kapre basolia. Yarimo kwa karia. Reko sekele kapre. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh yeah, power. Oh yeah, they begin to speak. Begin to pray in tongues. 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 Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray in tongues. Yaka maka kaka. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Luka kaka prebe. Luka raka prolia. Resala kaka 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 kaka. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Begin, 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 begin. It has started. It has started. It has started. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Right now. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yakarakaka Prababa. Yakalumokwa. Rakimo Seleka. Rankuleka Sekalu. 
Yakwa kese luko rampe bela kapre belosi deluko malaka arema kwa parakuzia deshwa kase deshwa kase aya 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 the number of people here in the choir aya begin to speak in tongues begin to pray power of God receive power 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 aya receive power receive power receive power na kukuma kali kamale. Rumba se kwa ke, riaki masi, riangaka, luko se, riempra le kama, roma si kapelia, roko sende kilia, rama kusede, rakupa le kande, yakulia, rinka reka, jemi kalia sulia. Thank you Jesus, 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 thank you Jesus. Yeah, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Begin to speak. I want to hear your voice. I want to see your voice. Speak it. Declare it. Kunika seli. Rima sekwaka. The power, the power, the Pentecostal power is just the same today. No matter what they say, the power, the power. The Pentecostal power is just the same today. The power, the power, the Pentecostal power is just the same today. No matter what they say, the power, the power, the Pentecostal power is just the same today. If you have received anointing, if you have received power, if you have received power and you are sure of it, I want you to lift up your hand. If you are sure you have, lifted, you have received anointing, I'm not talking to everybody. If you are sure power has entered, if you are sure power has entered into you right now, you are sure power has entered into you, and you also can speak in tongues. You can now speak in tongues with grace. Can you lift up your hand up now? If you know you can pray and power has entered into you, can you come forward? If you know you can, you have started ministering in tongues. You started praying in tongues. Now, by this ministration. Now. Now, by this ministration. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Continue to speak in tongues. As you are coming out, continue to speak in tongues. As you are coming now, continue to speak in tongues. As you are coming out, 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 continue to speak in tongues. Continue to pray in tongues. Continue to pray in tongues. The power, power. Continue to pray in tongues as you're coming. I continue to pray in tongues. This is the power of God. 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 Continue to pray. Anointing, 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 anointing. Yaka kapa baba, yakuda keria. Rakuseke, Yakuleka, Maraka Prabo, Yarokopolosia, Yakuria Kendia, Yamaku, Yaremako Kosia, Yangrele Caprelo, Yakile Kappa, Makipolo, Pow, 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 Yes, Okoseke. Yaka seke seke seke, aku kopo popo popo, ebele kopo romo kwa, yaki seke sia, jendi lika, mereka laku, ranka sede, power, 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 power. Yes, you are here. Yes, you are here. Yes, you are here. Hold her. Eka seke le, ere makoko, abalakwa. Rima kapre pelosia, reka pole kaseke, jandi lo kwake, rama luko prelia, eri kande, yaro kopo, zanseleke, zale makapro, ranku sekeke, ambole kwa dere, riamulia, le kwasa, le swake, le swakeke, le swakekeke, alakuma, receive power, receive power. Receive power in the congregation. Receive power. Receive power. Receive power. Receive power. Oh yeah. Receive power. Receive power. Receive power. Receive power. Receive power. 
Receive power. Hey! 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 Rika gaga gaga ba 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 ba. Yeke makuko se. Eni maloko poria. Yeri kambra lomo. Yeri kambra mo sekwa. Beshe kubo. Yeki la maka. Yeki la koko. Yansini. Receive power. Thank you, Lord. Rika saka saka. Thank you, Lord. 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 Riza kaka kaka kaka. Riza kaka kaka. Riza kaka kaka kaka. Riza kapo po po. Ria koseke. Luko marakwa. In the name of Jesus. Now listen to me. Why you are still praying? Allow those people to pray in tongues. You cannot stop them easily. Now listen to me. I am here on the recruitment exercise. Are you hearing me? In Daniel chapter 1, Nebuchadnezzar, that wicked king, he knew what to do. He went and then invited and brought all the children of Judah that were brought into captivity. Daniel was among them. He brought them. You know what he, what he wanted? He needed youths that are beautiful, handsome, youths that are well favored without blemish. Look at this yastic. They must carry wisdom, skillful wisdom, cunning knowledge, and understanding language and science. Are you hearing me? They want to teach them their occultic practices in Babylon. Now, if the evil king will want to recruit youths, Shouldn't we recruit you much more? I'm asking you, shouldn't we recruit you much more for the work of the law? Therefore, I am making the second batch. The second batch. Are you ready now? Are you ready now? This is the first batch. The second batch will be anointed now. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Are you ready? Are you ready? Lift up your hand again. Luza Kasekwa. I said no wasting of time. No wasting of time. All the people that are helping in the work in this place, many of you will leave here and enter into higher ministry. Are you hearing me? Philip, Stephen, they were people they were serving. When anointing came upon, power came, their ministry went up. And Philip was so anointed that he could not after ministering. Holy Ghost would catapult him for a, a kind of miniature rapture. And would carry him from that point to another place. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Those people left body here for some days now. Anointing is coming upon your head. Your ministry will no more be a common ministry. I said great grace will follow you right now. Now follow me. Let's sing this song with me. You are good, you are good. Jehovah, you are good. You are good, you are good. You are good, you are good. Onyoma, onyoma. Onyoma, onyoma. Oh, no, ma, oh, no, ma, is a Jesus. You are good, you are, you oh, are, ma. You are good, you are, you are good, 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 you are good. You are, you are good. Listen, as you are singing this song, you, you are, are saying, God, you are good. If God is good, he will anoint you now. I say, if God is good, he will anoint you now. Do you accept it? You if good. God is good, you anoint you now. You as if we anointed, you anoint you right now. You In the name of Jesus. You are you ready to be anointed? You are singing that song now. You are good, you are. You are good, you are good, you 
Sing in the Holy Ghost. Follow me, sing in the Holy Ghost. Follow me, sing in the Holy Ghost. Oh, Sherry Maloma. Oh, Yerry Maloseme. Oh, Yerry Maloseme. Oh, you are good, you are. Oh, Sherry Maloma. Oh, Sherry Maloma. Oh, Sherry Maloma. Oh, you are good, you are. Oh, you are Maloma. You are Maloma. Thank you, Jesus. Pow! 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 Yekakosia. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Now, is there anybody behind here? You have received power. And, and also, you can now pray in tongues also. Can you begin to come out? I'm going to shake everyone. They receive an evidence, receive power and Holy Ghost. If you are there, can I see the second batch? Can you come out? Mekakari, Rekambalusia. You know, you are sure you began to pray in tongues. You began to pray in tongues. Begin, begin to come out. Begin to come out. Begin to come out. Power. You are not going to be ordinary. After this meeting, this night, many of you begin to pray in tongues. In your houses, in your house, you begin to pray in tongues. Holy Ghost will follow you. Holy Ghost will follow you. I got my power in the name of Jesus. I got my power in the name of the Lord. Oh, don't say Satan rages. I cannot be defeated. I got my power in the name of the Lord. I got my power. In the name of Jesus, I got my power. In the name of the Lord, though Satan rages, I cannot be defeated. I got my power. In the name of the Lord. Ooh. Now, I'm going to sing a song now, before we go. We're going to sing this song now. And I'm going to give all these ones, handshake. All these ones that have been that prayed in tongues, that receive power, and then they're praying in tongues. One by one, you receive power. Number two, you're praying in tongues. You receive power, number one. Number two, you receive pray in tongues. As I'm going now, I give you a handshake of welcome. I say, welcome into ministry. Welcome into ministry. And I'm going. But as I'm giving you that handshake, we're going to sing this song. We're going to sing this song now. I just sing that song for me. I want to say, I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you. I want to say, I want to say thank you. I want to say, I want to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You are so good. I want to say, I want to say thank you. I want to say, I want to say thank you. I want to say, I want to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You are so good. Oh, yes, I want to say. I want to say thank you. Oh, yes, I want to say. I want to say thank you. Oh, yes, I want to say. I want to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You are so good. I want to say. I want to say thank you. I want to say, I want to say thank you. I want to say, I want to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You are so good. Oh, yes, I want to say, I want to say thank you. I want to say, I want to say thank you. I want to say, I want to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Celebrate Jesus! Celebrate Jesus! Oh yes, I want to say, I want to say thank you. Hey, I want to say, I want to say thank you, Baba. I want to say, I want to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You are so big. Oh yes, we want to say, we want to say thank you. Celebrate Jesus! We want to celebrate him. We want to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You are so good. Oh, yes, we want to say. We want to say thank you. We want to say thank you. 
want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You are so good. Oh yes, we want to say, we want to say thank you. Oh yes, we want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You are so good. Oh yes, we want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You are so good. We want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say. We want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You are so good. We want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You are so good. Yes, we want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You are so good. We want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say. We want to say thank you, Baba. Thank you, Jesus. Oh yes, you are so good. Oh yes, we want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You are so good. We want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You are so good. Oh yes, we want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You are so good. We want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You are so good. Father, we want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say thank you, thank you, Jesus. You are so good. Oh, we want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say thank you, thank you, Jesus. You are so good. We want to say. We want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You are so good. We want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say thank you. Jesus, you are so good. We want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You are so good. We want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say, we 
want to say thank you, thank you Jesus, you are so good. Father, we want to say, we want to say thank you, we want to say, we want to say thank you, we want to say, we want to say thank you, thank you Jesus, you are so good. Oh yes, we want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You are so good. We want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say. We want to say thank you, thank you, Jesus. You are so good, Father. We want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say, we want to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You are so Father. We want to say, we want to say, we want to say. We want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say thank you. Oh yes, thank you, Jesus. You are so Lord. We wanna say, we want to say. Oh yes, we want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You are so to say. We want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say thank you, Jesus. We want to say, we want to say thank you, thank you, Jesus. You are so. Father, we want to say, we want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say. We want to say thank you, thank you, Jesus. You are so good. We want to say, we want to say, we want to say thank you. Oh yes, we want to say. Oh yes, we want to say thank you. We want to say thank you. We want to say thank you. Oh yes, thank you, Jesus. You are so good. We want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say thank you. We want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You are so good. We want to say, we want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You are so Father, we want to say, we want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say thank you. We want to say, we want to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You are so Father, we want to say. We want to say thank you, thank you, Jesus. You are so now we want to say, we want to say, yes, we want to say, 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 thank you, thank you, Jesus. You are so now we want to say. We want to say thank you. We want to say thank you. 
I've never seen this kind of a flow before. It's an overflow. Many more have anointed. Many that have come out here. Many have anointed. I've received anointing and power. I want to do something. What you're going to do, by the time you leave this place and go to your locations, when the things begin to happen, give me a call. I said, do what? Give me a call. Because when we release testimony of what the Lord is doing, will be better encouraged to serve him the more. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hands. The Lord be with you. The Lord preserve you as you're going. The sure mercy of God go with you. The Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and keep you. From today, whosoever that blesses you shall be blessed. Whosoever that causes you shall be accursed. The power and the glory of God will begin to ripple anywhere I go. The power of God will begin to be manifest. And then people will be seeing, will be seeing the radiation of the grace and power of God as a wave. It will be blowing anywhere you go. Anyone you contact shall be contacted with the Holy Ghost. Power shall flow in your life. You are blessed forevermore. As you enter into this employment, this recruitment that is started today, the Lord remove every element of sickness in your body. Poverty in the family, your family where you came from, from today that poverty has ended. Your parents will never lack the necessary resources to train you to any height you want to go to. you go glory shall follow you this is our declaration receive it and go in this mind in the name of the father in the name of the son before I shout Holy Ghost are you ready before I shout in the name of the Holy Ghost are you ready as I'm shouting, Holy Ghost, somebody will now speak. I'm going to come upon another person right now. I in the name of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. 